my previous work, uh, we were working with uh, this compound, propionic acid, and we found that it, for such a simple molecule, it had very widespread effects in the central nervous system, affecting brain development, metabolism, and immune function. And then, you know, we sort of put two and two together, and we said, hey, these bacteria in the gut, uh, when children eat carbs, ferment the carbs and make propionic acid. And in addition, some of the foods that these children craved, in addition to being high carb, did in fact contain propionic acid as, an, as, a, as a food preservative. Propionic acid is labeled on food packaging as E280. It's a commonly used preservative in many bread, cake, and cheese products made and sold throughout Europe, Australia, South Korea, and North America. So we thought to take propionic acid and give it in small amounts to rodents and see if the behaviors or brain changes um, looked anything like autism and whether or not these behavioral and brain changes were transient. Dr. McFabe's control subjects exhibit typical behavior. Rats are highly social animals. They greet by sniffing nose to tail and interact as they explore their surroundings. But when a propionic acid solution is introduced, this all changes. What we noticed remarkably within two minutes of putting this propionic acid in, this animal immediately starts exhibiting some very peculiar behaviors. Obviously, he's hyperactive and moving very quickly, and then repetitive behaviors. Here you see an abnormal posture of walking with a hunchback. And it's an unappreciated part of autism in that patients often have uh, toe walking, abnormal posturing, arched back. So now we'll place another animal that's been given propionic acid. And a peculiar thing happens. They show none of the normal social greetings of uh, two rodents seeing each other. A video tracking system records and compares the obsessive and antisocial PPA-treated rats with the normal rats. Other experiments showed responses such as rigidity and object fixation, and the intriguing fact that the effects of PPA wear off. So now we're about a half an hour uh, after we've exposed these two animals to propionic acids, and their behavior afterwards reverts back to normal, and it's a fat, so it's burned through metabolism. Uh, the animals become more social. Usually, usually after their escapades, they tend to just go back to sleep. Uh, so again, we have a reversibility of hyperactivity and a reversibility of, of social behavior.